What's up, YouTube? It's Lee Anston, aka Lee. I haven't done a YouTube video before, but a lot of you guys have been asking me how I multi stream, which is streaming to multiple platforms at one time. So I just decided why not make a video to show you guys. So here we go. Okay, so what I'm about to show you guys is how to stream to multiple platforms using one OBS. I stream to Twitch and now also I stream to Kick and YouTube using my OBS. I also stream on TikTok on my phone because <clears throat> they haven't given me a stream key yet. But if you have a TikTok, you can stream to TikTok as well using one OBS and it just goes to multiple outputs at the same time. So let's jump into this so I can show you guys. I will be linking this in the description, of course. This is the website that you guys will have to use to get this plugin. It's just one plugin for OBS. So you're going to want to click down here. Um, you can either do the zip file or you can just do this exe right here. I personally use the exe. Um, I already have this downloaded, but I'm going to go through the process just to show you guys. Um, so you click this, the exe. All right, this may pop up. If this pops up, click more info um, and run anyway. For me, it's only popping up because I already have it installed. Um, but for you, this is what should pop up. Um, I would keep it exactly where the destination already is. If you should want it going to the uh, program data for OBS Studio under plugins. Um, after you install the plugin, make sure that you relaunch your OBS. You need to close it out entirely and relaunch it. Also, your OBS should not be open when you are installing the plugin. Once it's installed, you're going to go into your OBS. This should be popping up right here. This multiple output. It may have a different name on top, but it'll have this, the add new target um, or a target button. And it'll say this plugin provided free and it'll have the author and the donate link right here. All right, I know I'm new to this y'all, but I think this is where I'm supposed to tell y'all to like and subscribe. So if you made it this far in the video, drop a like, subscribe and you know maybe even share i don't know that might be too much just, just like and subscribe <laughs> where it says kick in youtube that won't be there for you this is something that i added already but to show you guys how to add a new target which a new target is a new website to stream from you'll have your main stream still the same my stream that's my main uh where i go right here is my twitch stream that's under your file settings um stream I have mine to Twitch, so it's connected to my Twitch account. And when I click this start streaming button, it'll automatically go live onto my Twitch channel. These targets are separate, separate lives. So you will click new target. You'll name it whatever you want. I'll use TikTok. For here, the server is the server or for some, it says like server or URL. That's what you want to put there. Um, the key is your stream key. That's what you want to put there. These are necessary. Video and audio settings, I recommend to keep as get from OBS. This makes it to where the same stream is going to all platforms. If you have different audio tracks that you want going to different websites such as like let's say you don't want your music going to youtube because you don't want to get copyrighted um but you're fine with it going to kick and tiktok or you are fine with it going to twitch to your stream but not to your bot um, i'm going to make a separate video on that but for this video and for the purpose of this uh keep it as get from obs unless you know what you're doing when you click this <laughs> just get from obs this is a personal preference under other settings me I don't like to start sync with OBS. If you do click this, it'll make it to where when you click start streaming on whatever you choose to be your main platform, it will automatically start all of the streams you have connected. I like to click start streaming and have just my Twitch stream start or click under these and have just whatever stream I click start and choose when I want to start or end any specific stream. I don't recommend syncing, but if you like it, I mean, that's up to you. So I'm going to click OK. Obviously, I didn't put anything in for those. You can put this on. You can like put this actually in your OBS. I know mine's a little chaotic. If you guys want another video on how to do this right here and have multiple different chats in your OBS, let me know. I'll make a video on that, too. The first time you try to go live, you click start. I'm going to show you what it's going to do. 
It says to get encoders from OBS, please start streaming in OBS first. You can stop the OBS stream afterwards. So what you need to do is whatever site you have attached to OBS, you have to click start streaming. And as soon as it starts, you can stop. I'm going to do it right now. Start and stop just like that. All it does is it is getting the information it needs to start that live. So then you can click the start here and it'll start. For me, it's going to do incorrect because obviously I have nothing listed, but that's how you do it. Um, like, for instance, I could start and stop YouTube. For sites like Kick, you're going to need to start here and you're going to need to click the start streaming right here. Once you start on your OBS, you need to make sure you click start streaming in your dashboard as well or you will not be live on that platform this is also the same for youtube however you could also choose to have it start from your streaming software if you do this it will automatically start as soon as you start it from your obs if you made it this far into the video don't forget to like and subscribe i gotta be helping you at least a little bit <laughs> If you guys notice that you guys are lagging when you are trying to stream to multiple sites because it takes a lot for your PC to be able to do this, check your bitrate. So it's under settings. Um, this is a personal preference. Settings output. Mine is set to 3000, which is actually relatively low for what my PC can handle. Um, you can lower yours based on if you're lagging. I would not bring this lower than 2000 though, because um, then you're going to really lose a lot of quality. If anybody is confused about anything at all, just let me know in the comments. Um, this is my first YouTube video, so I'm sorry if it was a little all over the place. I'm um, just trying to get this out as soon as possible for y'all, um, mainly for my community and the 2K community. Uh, y'all to see this, learn how to multi-stream. I do not gatekeep. I've never gatekeeped. So I hope that this helps y'all. If y'all got any questions, let me know in the comments. I will do my best to answer them. I'll make a new video if I need to, to, you know, get some clarification for y'all. If you guys want a video on these multiple chat docs that I have, um, me move myself if you guys want a video on these chat docs and like the channel points and activity feed that I have out here, let me know. I can make a separate video on that. And if you guys want a video on how to make it to where YouTube, Twitch, Kick get different audio tracks or to where you can stream an audio like music to your Twitch stream, but have it not go to your VOD um, for protection against copyright, let me know in the comments. I can definitely make those videos and drop them sometime this week. I hope you all have a great day. I hope this helped. Love y'all. I'll see y'all in the stream later. Bye, guys. <laughs>